Hi everyone. Welcome to Tara's Take. Welcome back if you're part of my family and welcome for the first time if this is your first visit with me. So today I thought we would make something pretty. As the title of the video said, we're going to make some diva um, buttons. <laughs> um, and we could even maybe call them diva, I may have renamed it this diva button snippets because like this one here is like a snippet. Let me see how good it's showing up. Um, I think I'm off a little bit on my angle with this, but you know, you get the idea. Something fun. Some lace, some bling, some jewelry. Here's one with the seed beads around the edge and then one of those flat back gems and a cross in the center. My husband's like, that looks like a brooch. <laughs> this one too. <laughs> Here's some of those pretty leaves I bought at Autumn. And some more seed beads, a little bit larger size on this one. And just in on buttons, I am never going to use. You know, I know I will never use them. They don't impress me. Um, and so I thought we could come along and have a play. Here's some real crystally beads in the center of some seed beads. Can you see that? And then uh, here's one with some, with like a flat back gem. And then this is the um, the little dividers when you're making your jewelry, you know. And so, they're not dividers. I can't think of what they're called. Anyway, I know what I'm talking about. I just can't remember. Um, and then this one, I did some bling around the edge. I haven't finished it yet. Um, I put some book, book page on here. And yeah, so I used vintage paper. I started to do one with here, I sat it aside because I decided it's the wrong shape to work with, but you can get the idea. Um, I used this one with Tim Holtz um, collage paper. And then on the sides, I did some bling. And the reason I haven't finished is because I used one that has like a, a hump in, in the center here. And the, the gems aren't really sitting on it, so it's kind of hard to work with. So yeah, I probably, for me, I probably will only use flat or those that kind of concave in on my buttons. Um, now what I have here today is a huge bunch of these big buttons that are in my collection. I didn't pick them, they just came with, you know, my stuff that I ordered, like other buttons that I ordered. And these are all the ones I've had sitting in a drawer just sitting there and me saying I will never use those so I thought well today would be a good time to turn them into something useful for me so I have got I've got beads I've got flat back gems I have these guys here you've seen these before it's been a minute but I've used them I've got lace I've got edges ribbon um, I have some doily Oh gosh, I've got a little bit. I've even got some scarfs that I have cut up um, pieces. And then, of course, like I said, I've got these charms. And then I've got other charms in the other drawer I can use. You know, just some fun gems and stuff. Use whatever you think it looks pretty, looks blingy or grungy, however you want to do it. Um, and like I said, I have a bowl of lace right here to choose from if I decide to use that. Um, I may just, on the video, I might just make the buttons. I don't know if I'll go all the way into decorating with it with the cloth and fabrics. But if we do, you know, you can make snippet. And these can go on the front of journal covers. You know, they're kind of bulky for the inside. But they'd be really pretty on the outside. So you could make your own, you know, you know how like, well, I do it a lot too, but I was going to say how Tina will do like her ribbons and her wax seals and stuff like that on her cover, you know. Um, and I was thinking these would be really a pretty addition to our journals. So, yeah. So let's get started and have some fun. So what I did was I have my Fabri-Tac glue, I have my art glitter glue, I have my hot glue, my hot glue gun, some scissors. I have a small paintbrush, um, a file. You can use a nail file, any kind of sandpaper, anything you want. Um, some book page, like I said, you could use book page, Tim Holtz paper, you could use tissue paper, napkins, anything thin that you can, you know, glue to, adhere to the button itself, um, you're going to want to use. You don't want to use too thick a paper. I would think that would be a little bit hindering for the idea, uh, at least for me. If you get it to work, awesome. <laughs> I don't know that I could. I'm going to grab another piece of um, 
book page. You know what? I think I might grab music too. I've got the music. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to use the music sheet because I remember it was thick the other day when I was trying. At least that one was. Let me see. Do I have something thinner? I'm looking here real quick in my drawer. My chair is slipping out from under me. That's so funny. Okay. Let me see. I was using my dictionary page. I've got some Shakespeare pages here. Maybe I'll use that. And grab some oh some of this old paper yeah anything on your book page anything that's really really thin is going to work better okay this is the one i was using and it's almost gone so i grabbed that's why i grabbed a little bit more oh i also have some gelatos and then i have my oxide you can use ink you could use paints watercolors um you know whatever whatever you think you want to decorate the back of it with because what i did on these as you can see on this one okay it's not finished yet i just started it yesterday and my husband came home so we have a book page okay and then i did distress ink or the oxide and then on top of that i did my gold stick okay and i used a little dab of water on my desk I just dip my finger in it rubbed it on the stick and then rubbed that onto here and that's that's the effect I got okay and so on some of these and I did the same thing here just maybe a little bit thinner and I did the same thing on this one and as you can see you know me and my gold stick so I was thinking as I was doing it this morning oh I could be using the other colors too you know so depending on what you want I kind of like that vintage look you know this one I didn't uh, I think I used a uh, green maybe on the background here uh, yeah so this is the first one I did yesterday, and I was just playing with it. I ended up sitting here for hours just doing these, and they were so much fun. And they're kind of intricate when you go to, to gluing down your beads and stuff. Um, when you do them, just enjoy yourself. Um, this video is probably not going to encompass a huge amount of us being together doing this because... I'm going to keep doing it after we're off video, so you know I can only go so far with you guys, but I thought it would be fun to get started today with it. I like these beads. I just got these. These are those little dollar 99 cent beads at Walmart. I think they're so cute. Some of them are. Some of them are totally, you know, junk, but you do get those that are adorable. I like these with the coppery lines through them. They're glass, you know, so they're kind of fun. Let's see. That would be a fun one to build off of. So I have, like I said, I have just, oh my gosh, just so much stuff here. So let's have a play, shall we? I'm gonna make this my centerpiece, I think, for this one. Now, um, I do also have, like, I have a bunch of this that I bought, and this one, this type has the sticky on the back, okay, and it's, the stuff you use to like line your phone case or you know that you can decorate purses with it or whatever and I bought it for my junk journals and I've got it comes in 10 colors okay the one I have um, tons tons of it okay <laughs> and then I have this one here these two that I got from Hobby Lobby they do not have the um, the sticky back on them okay but I used that for the sides here, and I was thinking on this one, should I do that again? Because I do like, I think that's kind of fun. Um, let's see, I'm going to cut this down. I don't know how much I'll need of it, so I'm just going to cut two of these here. And like I said, this kind does not have the stick on it. Even if it does, I'm still gluing it because I don't trust it. Um, and what I did with this this morning, I didn't do any of these yesterday with this, but I thought of it today, is I just drew a very thin line of fabric talk. I tried, um, I tried both glues. Art Glitter Glue works as well, but I did find the fabric tack dried a little quicker. So, or at least held it a little faster. The, you know how the fabric tack will stay kind of a little bit rubbery? So even if you're using fabric tack for this, don't play with your beads once you, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now that I've given everything almost 24 hours to dry, 
it feels great. I mean, everything feels strong. It's on there. And I used nothing but Fabri-Tac yesterday. Um, but I do advise you to, you know, once you get everything on there, leave it alone. Don't play with it. Just let it sit and dry. You know, you can fiddle with it while you're working it. But like all of these were movable yesterday until, you know, today they're set. They're good. Okay. Oops. And then, um, yeah, I'm going to get this edging on here and then, oh, I'll need a third piece. And then I think we will do some, I'm going to take some of this off. There's too much rubber right there. It's causing too big a separation. Yeah. This stuff is really easy to manipulate, actually. It's awkward a little bit, but not not bad. You know what I mean? Okay, I'm going to trim one more piece here. I will not need the whole piece, but... you know me I love my little bling I do think it's so much fun okay and if these are going to be you know they're not going to be um, abused you know what I'm saying like they're going to for me they'll probably be on the covers unless it's one that doesn't take up a lot of space on the inside of my journal these will be the kind of things that I would decorate the spine with or you know that kind of stuff so this my point is this part is not gonna it's not gonna be used a lot and bumped a lot and hit a lot it's you know it's there for decoration and so I don't think you need to worry about the edges coming off is my point so we have that and that's gonna be my centerpiece and I'll probably do this one as well while I'm with you guys, but I do want to do one from start to finish so that you get to see what it is I was doing. Oh, here. I was looking for my, what do I want to put with this? So I have, these are the beads I got from Hobby Lobby a few weeks ago when I did the whole bead thing. I was thinking, what would this look like? To have these coming maybe I should center this and then I'll find out Let's, I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna use hot glue for this one and try to get that right in the center am I in the camera sorry I should look at this from the angle you guys are looking at it not bad <laughs> there. let that dry for a minute and I was thinking if I could do these longer ones, I'm not sure. I'm just getting an eyeball for what I want this to look like. I want these to be, like I called it the divas, I want them to be diva buttons. <laughs> Very blingy. Actually, I don't hate this. Once I get them all glued down, it'll look better, of course. Because right now I'm struggling to keep them in the same, you know, struggling to keep them straight Ugh, get on there but I want to lay them out and see what it looks almost looks like a flower huh okay and one more okay you know what there we go kind of anyway you get the gist and then I was thinking I wonder if something, hmm, I have all these different centerpieces and stuff, not him, getting it to sit there for a minute, there we go, it's crooked, but you guys get the gist, right? There we go. If I move it, it's going to fall. Everything will topple. Oh, there we go. Not too bad. See? It toppled. Anyway. <laughs> so, okay. I'm going to go for it. You know what? It's like this. It'll come off if I want it to. 
if I really don't like what I did, it'll it'll come off. But I kind of want to do it just to give you guys an idea of what in the world I'm talking about with these. I'm just making sure this is... I wonder how big these are on there. Let me see. These won't look good. I bet. I'm just checking real quick. It's too big. Yeah, it's too big. Um, and then I was just glancing over here at my other beads to make sure I don't have something more... Do I want to flap it? I don't think I have anything in the right color. Oh, I do have those dark ones that I used on the, I used on one of these. This one here. Let me see if I can find one. I'm just checking to see if, oh, there's one. If that would be kind of cute on there or not. I don't know if it will or not. Probably not. Nah. I already hear you guys saying, no, Tara. New, new, new. No, doesn't match. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and what I did was I just did a thin line of glue. Oh, great. My glue stuffed up. <laughs> there we go. Anyway. So I did like a thin bead of glue across. I wonder if I should use these spatter ones. I wonder if they'd... Yeah, I'm going to use these. I'm going to go for it. Like I said, if I absolutely don't like it, I don't, you know, I can always take it apart. You know what I should do, duh, is go across here. There. Okay. And wipe this off. <laughs> because I don't think I'm going to need a line there. I might, but I'm not sure. Don't you? I love Fabri-Tac glue as far as, like, the working of it. But, man, I don't like how it is. It's so annoying the way it comes out the top of the thing. And... It's just such a messy glue. It's great for certain projects, though. It really worked good for this yesterday. make that bulb of glue work for me. Okay. And then I'm going to do two more right there. No, I just thought these would be a fun way to play with the buttons and not um, waste the ones that we don't like, you know? And uh, I had, not all of them I did yesterday are my favorites, but I had some that I, I thought turned out pretty cute. I mean, I really like these two. And, you know, they're fun. I mean, on the right, as a right topper, even as like a topper, you know, a decorating the center of a topper for your journal. Oh, that was way too much. Your journal cover, I think that uh, they're pretty cute, you know? There we go. So that's that part. And now let me see. Do I use this one or I have these. I'm not sure how it would look. Let's check before I do that. Let's see. Nah, won't look good. These only look good against each other. They kind of have, I don't know. They might, let's see. Maybe if I did it with the lines, nah. I can't get it to stay. Come on. Oh, no. Now it's staying. It's stuck. 
Oh, aren't you glad you guys hang out with me and you get to see somebody else make all kinds of mistakes and you go, oh, Tara makes me feel so much better. <laughs> oh, it's true. It's true. It's a good thing. You know, one of us has to, you know, get up here and do this. <laughs> Sonia always tells me I'm brave. I'm like, I'm not brave. I'm just <laughs> crazy enough to do it. <laughs> I'm not really brave. I mean, I'm getting braver. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Thank you for loving me, being my friends. So there we go. There's a little blingy flower, the button. And it was like one of these big, ugly, white buttons, you know? It was like one of these. It was just a goofy... But now it's got book page on the background, and it's all shiny, and it's got the bling on the edges. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I mean, it's not, you know, it's not going to win me an art show or anything, but it might look cute on top of a journal. Anyway, it's a fun way to play. Okay, so let's see. Maybe we'll just use this one. Now, these need decorated, too, this one here, but I want to do one with you first. Um, so that you can kind of see where I'm coming from. So what I did was I, you can use the back too, if you want that flat surface, or you can use the inside where it kind of concaves in. And I just took my glue. Okay. And I spread it around with my finger. You know me, I'm not going to get a brush or anything and make it not messy. And then I'm going to grab a piece of book page and put that down and then just kind of press it in. And I, I went around the edge and gave myself, you know, so I could see the kind of the edge of the button. Keep pushing it down so it sticks down real nice. And if you have a few lines, it's okay. It just makes it look old. And you know, like this one right here, there they go. But it's not a big deal. And then that's when I use my file, and, and you can use a nail file and just go around this edge. Just so you can see, because I was using these yesterday. Um, just regular nail file. Okay. And then you just push it off. Okay. See? Now your button is covered. And all I did after that, I really like the look of the darker uh, Distress. And you could use any color of Distress Oxide. Or you can use ink, whatever. I sprayed mine. This is an old one. And I'm just spraying it so it gets nice and wet. Because I really like when it gets dark. I like this. I think it looks pretty cool. And it looks pretty grungy and fun. So, And you can leave this plain. You do not have to add any gold or any accent over it. It's totally up to you if you want to make it more grungy, you know. Um, I was making these kind of blingy, so I thought that the, the effect of the gold on top looked pretty cool. I think one of them, though, oh, let's see, did I? No, I ended up putting gold on all of them, didn't I? Or no, I didn't. Oh, yeah, I guess I did. Just lightly on this one. But anyway, so now you have that. And then all I did was sprayed a little bit. Oh, gosh, Tara, honey. <laughs> there. And... Take your glue, okay, and just dip your finger, and then all I did was run my finger through the paint on the stick, and then you just rub it over, okay? Don't get your finger super, super wet, because this paper, if you're using book page, it's old, and it will mess, you know, mess up the, the words if you have to use too much water. So, yeah. But we could do that with silver, Maybe I'll try it with one of my silver um, paint sticks as well. So you kind of, I haven't tried it, so we'll see what it looks like. If I can remember to do that. I don't, I don't know. I don't think I have them right here with me. I think I moved them. Let me see. 
I have my green, my red. Yeah, I put them in a drawer because I wasn't using them and they were just taking up space here at my desk. Um, anyway, so now we have that. That's all I did. Super, super easy, as you can see. And then you have this pretty surface to build on. Okay, I want to use... Uh, I think I want to use one of these pretty ones here. Um, I just brought everything and the kitchen sink because I wasn't sure what I was going to use. And it, I even went through my, my big, huge bowl. Oh, here's a big one. I went through my big, huge bowl and pulled out all my tiny, tiny pearl button, you know, beads. Because I thought, well, maybe I want to use, you know, one of those. I'm going to use this really pretty aqua marine blue. Okay, and that's going to be my centerpiece. So I'm going to put some hot glue there and stick that in the middle. And already it looks like a pretty little flower, you know. And then now the thing you can do, what I wanted to try, I was kind of thinking would be cool, if I have a good color. I wonder, can I do black? No, I don't want to use black. Not on this. Um, I don't really have an aquamarine on those beads. I was thinking that I could do, um, nah, I'm not going to do that. Never mind. Anyway, so on this edge, I'm just going to leave it and not worry about it. Okay, um, let me see, now I have to decide which type of thing I want to surround this with. It's such a pretty flower and I don't want to just put, I don't want to put just anything. But I was thinking, I like these on here, I wonder if they would look good. The brass against the gold, or I could use these little guys. I wish I had, I had some that had like the little crystals in the inside and I used them. So yeah, so that was a bummer. No, nope, that's going to clash. That's silver. Sorry guys, I'll make up my mind here in a second. Nah. Yeah. I might go with these little guys here. Let me see. What would these look like? Yeah, those would clash too. Yep, I think I'm going to use these. So again, I'm going to get my my glue and I'm going to go around. And I just put a little bit at a time yesterday. And then where's my... I used this to just kind of sit them down onto it. I just used it kind of like a guide. I also used my tweezers. And I may come back now that I'm looking at this with some edging on this of some color. Maybe like this more peachy color that I used on the other one because I think that would look cute. my tweezers. Let me see here. Oh, I have these here. My sweet friend Mary gave to me. That'll make it easier. There we go. You just keep adding your glue as you go around. Am I in the... Okay, making sure I'm in the camera. Are we close enough? You guys need to be a little bit a little bit closer.
Okay. And I probably don't have quite enough glue on this one. I just noticed that. I'm going to kind of... That's not going to work. Take it off, Tara. Don't do it like that. <laughs> I'm being a bad example. I'm sorry. Sometimes I have really bad habits. Do you guys have bad habits? Crafting habits? I have bad crafting habits. Bad crafter. Not not a good thing to get on here and do that with you guys because I'm actually, I guess, technically, I'm the one doing the tutorial, so I shouldn't be showing you my bad habits, right? Okay. I forget that, you know, I've gotten to know so many of you, so I feel so close to you. <laughs> that I forget it's not just us. Sometimes it's new people who don't know me yet. <laughs> and some of you know me. I feel like you all know me so well that I'm just being me. I'm just being myself. Yeah, we all know what that means. Come on. So you do want to, I was going to say, you do want to put a thick enough line of glue so that once you get that flower or your bead or whatever you're putting down on there that it's going to, you know, be covered you know so kind of take into account what what I'm putting on there what am I putting on there and um, I'm trying to turn that because if I get it right those fit right into each other's notches okay that okay I was thinking I could actually do um I should have done it first, but I was thinking I could have done like a cool paper around the edge too, to like give it that dingy look on the white beat button. I didn't really think about it until now, so maybe future reference to myself. Okay. I'm liking this though, now that these are almost done, I'm liking how they look. I'm new to this type of tweezer. Can you tell? I'm struggling to remember which way to turn it or squeeze it or open. You know, <laughs> like I'm struggling to, to do it right. Now, this is what I was talking about. So you can still move these. They're stuck down. They're not going to just pull off super easy. But tomorrow, these will be nice and stuck. This will, you know, have really sealed on there. But for right now, they're still kind of movable for you so come on all right look at that yay it like fit you guys i'm so so excited perfect perfect okay there we go so there now we've got one kind of cute and you know just pretty and if it's on the right I was looking I have some material oh, here it is I was thinking you know the material that's got like the colors and stuff and then on top of some lace and then once you get it onto your journal cover you know it, it'll look pretty so yeah now I'm wondering if this color would look all right on the side it's kind of like a can you see it's like a beigey gold color? And I'm thinking that it might do just fine for the side of this. Because I really don't like the bright white at all. I mean, I guess I could paint it with something more permanent, you know. Let me see. I'll cut some more of this here. I never use this stuff. And today I've used like a whole bunch of it already I don't know stuff catches my eye when I'm at the store when I'm on Amazon looking do you guys do that things catch your eye and you're like ooh, shiny that's pretty you get it you get it home or you get it in your order and you go how in the world am I gonna use this and you end up just sitting it aside and it doesn't get used that is me all over the place yeah, I think I will put this on the edge because I think it'll look kind of pretty. So 
wish me luck on not moving my little flower beads here my little separators I like that and I guess because they're the same shape as the other they look kind of cute now let's see if she can do it again didn't get it on there I'm just kind of going for it, and even if it's a little bit thick, because that dries so clear. I just want to get it down, you know. Okay. So as you can see, these are fiddly and they're time consuming. But if you want something that I turned on a television show yesterday, and this is how many I did. I watched. It was a BBC show. It's called Unforgotten, and it's like a a, a cop show, you know about basically about cold cases and I watched six episodes which was the entire season in the time frame that it took me to do those so that's you know I it is time consuming but you can kind of get lost and relax in this if you let yourself and that's what I did and I had a really nice uh, nice time making these and I thought well you know they're a little fiddly but they're fun and they give you a good return at the end of the day you know you've got some stuff for your um, your journal covers uh, you know and there we go stay down now don't be being stubborn this one little spot everything's perfect and that one's wanting to fight with me stop that All right. See, the Fabrifix lets you move this stuff around when it's not quite doing what you want. I wonder if I took one more of those gems out, if that would fit better. I'm going to remove one more of them. I watch it be like, oh, it's too much. It doesn't match up now. <laughs> that's better. Yeah, that's better. The trick is to get these even. Okay. There. So there's that one. All right, moving on. Hmm. Hold on one second, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. So, I had to get a drink. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys watched yesterday's video about the flip through, but that was today. <laughs> and I'm still having a little bit of a frog in my throat. Not a cold, not anything like that. Just catch, you know, where it tickles. Anyway. Okay, so what I thought I would do was one of these wooden beads um, or buttons. I think I'll use this big one. And I was, I was kind of trying to determine if... Oh, here's the one I didn't do gold on, I don't think. Maybe it is underneath, I can't tell. But this one has like little crystals and seed beads. Um, no, I was thinking that I could do this one and then something fun on the edges let's see and because it's brown already I don't know that I want to do I might just do some of the gold paint let me try I don't know what it might it'll probably just come right off I'm not even sure if it'll stay we'll see I may have to do the paper to get it to stay on there but we'll look Right. I was just thinking because it's oops because it's such a dark brown that it might just look kind of cool. And then I'm gonna put probably that. Let me check here really really quick. Let's see if I have something else I want to use. I just wanted to make a variety of them so that I'd have you know. The opportunity to use different ones. I was looking to see if I had any other 
like round these little moon guys they're like half moon they look pretty cute so I'll go ahead and use that and then I'm gonna go ahead with my hot glue in the center I just totally totally burned my finger <laughs> aren't you impressed how I don't scream now when I'm by myself I'm like ow <laughs> Anyway, I love anything opalescent, and so for me, these beads are, like, really pretty. <laughs> okay, um, I was, what I was thinking, I don't know if this is going to be what I do or not. Let me look. I don't know. I want to use seed beads. I know that. I want to use some seed beads. So, but, or these little round ones, too, would be cute. Um, gosh. I have tiny, tiny seed beads over here. Oh my gosh, you guys, my desk. Ah! <laughs> Do you ever feel like that? That's how I'm feeling right now. So these are actually like the same color as these seed beads. See, they got that blue opalescent look. So I was thinking if, 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 if I could get this to work, I hope I can. I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to see what happens. I'm just gonna do a little bit at a time, like I did the other one, and I'm gonna put down a little edge here. Okay, and I kind of wipe it off the top part there. And now I think this is where I was using this too, was when I was doing this. Let me see. Yeah, I was using my awl just putting these on the tip and then sitting them on their sides so that you can actually see their color if I can pick them up. My all kind of has a lot of glue on it at this point because I've been using it now. Okay. And I was wondering how these would look kind of there as well. Do a couple of the tiny ones and ah, I think I'll leave the big ones off. I like the little ones. Let's do these. Yes, I know this is very fiddly. It's the only part of the thing of the video I was thinking, oh my gosh, it's gonna be they're gonna be like, oh my gosh, this is so time consuming. <laughs> You have to have patience with this. I will admit it. It's true. But I don't know. I thought it was kind of worth it because I like this kind of stuff. When it's all said and done, I, I love beading and working with, you know, the beads. And so, yeah, to me, it's kind of, kind of worth it. Well, it is worth it or I wouldn't be doing it, right? These beads are all so different shaped. Some are thick, some aren't. Some are super thin, some are super thick. I have a thing for seed beads though. They were the first beads my grandma ever gave me. I think I've mentioned that to you guys before probably. She used to give them to me when I was a little girl and I'd play with them for hours and hours and hours. And I'd make all these little necklaces and you know bracelets like we do when we're little. And um, I even sewed them onto purse, you know, little hand purses because she taught me how to make little pieces of cloth purses, you know, where you just sew a couple of patches of cloth together. And um, yeah, so I used to put beads on them and make my own little purses. And I was, I was little, I was like four or five years old. She was teaching me this kind of stuff. I guess she was prepping me for crafting. <laughs> I didn't realize it back then. But anyway, so yeah, I love seed beads. I, I like to make really long necklaces. Well, I haven't worn them in years, but when I was a little bit younger, I used to wear, and I mean, this was in my 30s and 40s. I would make them, and I would always have them really long, hanging down, and wear them as chokers, like double wrapped on my, you know, around my neck, and then have them hanging down 
to my waist. So I'd make huge, probably, I don't know, three foot beaded, uh, seed bead necklaces and do that with them. And I, I always liked them like that. Okay. So yeah, this I know is kind of, if you have your show on in the background, or you have some good videos going in the background and you just sit and relax and do this, it's actually relaxing, I find. Because it's, I don't know, it takes my concentration and that one's on backwards. Um, there we go. I don't know. I just like it. I like it. Except for the picking the beads up, that part, yeah. <laughs> oh, praise God. Sometimes I need to do things that cause me to focus and concentrate on them. But that aren't, you know, microbiology, you know. So as you can see, this is fitting right on the lip of that. Yeah. And so it's gone from a boring button to, I think, something pretty cute. And added to, like, I don't know, the right journal, you know. Now this one, being that it's a little half moon and it's all pearlescent and everything, might be more of like a bohemian type look, you know. Um, or grungy, something like that. So, anyway, you guys get the idea. So now I'm going to set this aside because I know it's probably driving somebody crazy out there to have to watch me do that. And I was thinking um, that it would be cool to do like decorate one. Okay, so I'm just throwing these beads back where they go so I don't get them all jumbled up everywhere. Let's see. Um, I want to use this little piece. This is a centerpiece of a doily. And I was thinking, actually, that might look really pretty on it. Or this one here. Gosh, I wish I could hear you guys. No, I definitely think one of these. And then, let's see. Yeah. And do I want to put some cloth behind it? Hmm. Our little gold pieces. I love this, this stuff we used for the Nativity Journal. I really, really love it. I have so many laces and stuff over here too. I don't know. Let's see. I have some old, old lace. I have some newer, you know, it just kind of ranges. And then I have like some little textile ribbon types, yarns and stuff. Um, hmm. Oh, they're all tangled up with each other. It's annoying. I was wondering if this... If I did it right. Let's see. Maybe. Doubled up or something. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not necessarily going to use this. I'm just kind of going to see if I like it. <clears throat> this is from Hobby Lobby, and I love this beige colored lace. I think it looks... I've seen other people use it, too, because, you know, on stuff. And I just think it looks pretty. 
nah, I don't necessarily like that, so I'll put that in my little scrap basket. What do I have up here? Let me see. This one's kind of pretty. I have a piece of that. I have a piece of that. I'm just playing now, you guys. This thing is so... I've got this little basket thing full of just stuff. Everything. Just a little bit of everything. I wonder what colors are in that. Not quite. Okay. I was going to say. I don't know if this will look good. I was thinking of maybe something underneath there to just kind of stick out. Yeah. Let's see. I wish this piece were a little bit longer. And if I laid it right, the center there. Ah, stuff is sticking to my hands so bad, you guys. I apologize. I'm getting flustered with myself. I hope I'm not frustrating you. <laughs> thinking that this might look kind of cute as a topper or, or the centerpiece of a topper so I'm gonna I'm gonna try it <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna look good we'll see right I'm I'm the kind as you guys probably know by now I'm the kind of crafter that if I don't like it later on down the road I will take it apart because that's just me I'm just going to stick that on the bottom there, and then I'm going to fold this down. I'll probably have to trim this one, but we'll see. Like that, and then I will let this do its thing on here and stick it there. Okay. And I'm just basically, more or less, I'm doing this for your benefit so you can kind of see what I did and just inspire you a little bit because I'm sure that somebody's going to post later, I hope you do, on Facebook and show me what you made. And I bet it's going to be even prettier because <laughs> this was kind of thrown together just for your benefit more than anything um, because I wanted, to, I wanted you to see how I was, you know, coming up with the little kind of snippet type thing, you know. So there's those two. Okay, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I hope that you guys play with some buttons and turn them into something beautiful. I am going to finish this little guy, and I want you to have a wonderful, blessed day. I love you so much. Thank you for spending time with me, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. God bless each and every one of you. Bye.